actually he hugged back oh my god the ship has sailed it's there we've done it hey guys we are back for more fairy tale today the continuation of 100 years quest and the alderaan arc where we left off juvia and gray had taken down another one of the alderaan seeds i forgot his name but it doesn't matter because we got the juvia gray moments that we were all hoping for and gray submitting to juvia telling her that she is his strength and that, of course, worked in their favor because the Alderaan Seed was, like, basically siphoning Juvia's body to nourish himself as a tree man. And then she just got all steamy because she was so fucking turned on and happy that Grey said that about her. And then they use her as, as her body as in his ice make magic. So fucking cool. And I hope that going forward, that's a thing that he just, like, uses Juvia's body as for, like, a Juvia Hamma again or something like that. So fucking good. We got the Jerza moment, too which could have been a little bit better i think if they had actually shown a little bit of the jerza flashbacks instead of just the one the one scene but it still turned out okay they were obviously trying to get to this natsu versus alderaan seed fight which we're going to get today so i'm looking forward to that are we really at the end of this arc already like what even happens if he wins this seems to be like the final battle kind of thing although we have this giant fucking dragon here who or dra giant dragon body of alderaan here that is still there so if he defeats like the main alderaan seed what happens because I, I think he's the last one i don't i think all of them have been defeated besides, except for him so i don't even know what would happen to his body or would we have some kind of interference from one of the other dragon gods uh knowing that alderaan is weakening uh or maybe interference from stopping them from doing it or interference because they want them to finish him and then they want to take his power for themselves or something like that i don't know but i don't even care because it's fairy tale i enjoy all of it no matter what happens especially all the i mean what and anyways let's get into the episode today like the video if you enjoy it subscribe if you're new to the channel it helps me out a ton i appreciate it we're almost to 11k that'd be awesome if we could get to that very soon so i appreciate you guys for that comment down below what you thought about the reaction and the episode i look forward to reading all your comments it's super fun for me to just go through and talk to you guys about the anime that we love so keep them coming appreciate it fairytale nakama and if you want to support me even further go to my patreon links in the description below for that you get the uncut uncensored versions of these reactions out earlier than youtube does and you get invited to our discord server where we have a ton of fun people who enjoy fairy tale and all the other anime that we watch uh, on the channel and talk about it talk about other stuff that's going on in life it's a good time to join the, the zach discord server if you want to get in there you can also do it by joining as a youtube member down below hitting the link in the description and or hitting the join button well without further ado it's time for fairy tale let's go all right let's see it he dodged it he actually dodged it oh what is he even using is it like some kind of weird wind magic the power of life. They just keep reviving, so he you gotta put him in in the grave now. Uh, oh shit. A mere mortal might be part of the reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what? <laughs> just burn it. Simple Pokemon typing here. Wait, what? Wrong. National Oh, okay. The music's getting fucking hype right now, bro. Oh, damn. Oh, still nothing here. We haven't done any damage to him yet. Uh, he's got something else. Uh. <laughs> he actually got him. <laughs> Wait, something else happening? Oh! They gigantified! <laughs> Gajo! Look how big he is! Oh my god! Brandish actually used it! We didn't see her do it, but look at that! <laughs> Can he use his iron dragon techniques when he's that big? Oh my god! They're all just sitting on the ground like... <laughs> their faces... <laughs> Godzilla's like or uh, Levy's like dude at that size he'd break me <laughs> damn let's see that let's see that car you know no uh uh Tetsukak or whatever <laughs> you what 
That's that's even the biggest. She's just eating her ice cream over there. This is the biggest it can get. You better take him down in three minutes. Yeah, how? Uh, <laughs> what the heck did Brandis just say? Sorry and whoop like a dog. Is she just pit is she actually scared of Kana? <laughs> like Luffy's rea Lucy's reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Kana does have that Aquarius energy. <laughs> Natsu's gotta take him from the inside, Gajo from the outside. What do you mean by that? Yeah, did we not think about the rest of the allies that are still on there? Can he use his iron techniques? Yeah, he can! Even when he's that big. Gee! <laughs> Let's go! Nice! <laughs> Causing an earthquake right now. The wrath of gods? What's he doing? Forest of swords? How are you gonna dodge this? It seemed like there was way more of them coming. <laughs> it just keeps coming. Oh, he got hit by one. Oh, and the toe. He subbed his toe. Ow, that's the worst feeling. Oh, he's even doing it on the outside. You better turn yourself seal, man. Uh-oh. Wait, that's going to attack them, too. Godzilla's going to protect this girl. Protect them. Oh, even with the drop on him. Dude, it's so crazy just knowing how big they are right now. Uh-oh. Uh oh Dragonator! He activated the Dragonator! Where's my Dragonator? Ready when you are. Good. Fire! Oh, thank God. That is actually a good time. But he's also falling. Oh my god. The thing was massive. It nuked it. Oh. Good. Did you notice? Did you notice Gray was holding on to Juvia there? Making sure she was, he was, she was protected. <laughs> that's not the only thing that's big on my screen right now. It looks like it stopped him. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh! What do we do now? It's even on himself, too. Oh! Oh, he took one. You know, it really just feels like Stormtrooper rain right now. They're not hitting any of them. How are they none of them getting hit? Oh, Lucy did get hit. Ow! He's so big. Oh, she's worried about him. Everybody just got grazed by that. How is that even possible? Your aim is awful, old man. What are you, a stormtrooper? Punch through it? Oh! It still got him! Oh, no! Whoa! Oh, no! No! Oh, my God! He's bleeding out! He's singeing it? He burned him! Oh! <laughs> Wait, is Natsu going sicko mode right now? Molotic! Oh, he said the line! He knows. And a demon. Oh, talking about Zerif. Oh, this music. Let's go! It's coming! Oh! You see that Dragon Force activa activating right now? Oh shit! Ooh! Wait, he actually tripped him! Oh! He protected himself with that! Ooh! <laughs> Is he gonna do it? Can he actually do it? Ah oh, no, Natsu's gonna get up again. Yeah, 
Hundred years! Hundred years quest! Now it's the 100 years quest. He's gonna say the line. I'm here. Well, how about that mixture then? Ooh. Oh. Mmm. Oh. Do you s concern yourself with the ants that you step on? That's what it is, man. Oh, no. You just pissed them off. You just pissed them off. You're barking up the wrong tree. Ha, see what I did there? Ooh. The follow up. And now he can go all out. Oh! Dragon Force! This is the Dragon Force music! I'm taking it down! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! He's burning up! What is this attack he's powering up right there? Get in there, Natsu! Oh, and you don't say bad shit about Igneo, man. He's coming for you. Oh! Let's go! Atlas Flame? And Igneous, too! He's been eating all of their shit! Atlas Flame, remember? All the way from the Grand Magic Games arc. Oh! We're, whoa! <laughs> Let's go! He won! He did it! Let's go! <laughs> Bakana! <laughs> Burn him down! That's fucking right! Oh my god, look at this attack! Damn, Natsu with that hard line at the end. Oh, it's over. It's so over. That's a confirmation right there. That was a, that was actually a kill. Let's go. Oh, Ignea. Oh, he's like proud of him in a weird way. What's exactly? Exactly what he wanted. Oh, Celine? The hottie? Oh, shit. It's infant time. Maybe Alt. Is she next? Oh. The. Fifth generation Dragon Slayer Jigold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> Anytime we get more Kyria is good for me. I want the taste. She wants a taste. <laughs> oh, she said yes. What are you devouring? Hey, yo. <laughs> oh, Celine is next. Suzaku? Wait, this is a new character. One of the Dragon Slayer Knights. Suzaku? The Scarlet Dragon. Mizo. Mizo, kure. Oh my god, he's got a cool fucking design, doesn't he? The Scarlet Dragon. I wonder if the this guild master's ever gonna come out there. Yep, <laughs> they're like, wait, what happened? <laughs> yep. Lox is the smartest one here. <laughs> the free simping. <laughs> Damn, Levy, what the hell happened to your... Oh, she's pregnant. That's right. That's why her boobs are bigger. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. Shit. So this is going to be the interesting thing right here, is what the white mage is going to do. <laughs> oh, yeah. We still need to figure that out. <laughs> 
<laughs> Charlotte's not impressed. Oh, time to drink to get. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'm down. Come by. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> what? Why is it always about that? Oh, here we are. Oh, <laughs> he's already. <laughs> He's already naked, bro. It takes like two seconds out of battle. And our girl Juvia is already getting up close to him. While he's naked, by the way. Oh. Oh. Oh, she actually e hugged back. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, this is official. This is so official now. The ship has sailed. It's there. We've done it. It's happened. <laughs> he still hasn't figured that out. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Uh, yes, yes, I, I want to see Drunk Lucy. <laughs> oh, nothing. Charles not interested. This is classic fairy tale shit, right, man? This is fun. Jalal? Didn't want to take part in the festivities? Of course, Urza suck seeks him out. Oh, boy. Oh, here it is. <laughs> She's not going to say it. She's not going to say it. <laughs> no, she knows. Now she knows how much of an Urza simp he is. Dude, I think it's time for you to join Fairy Tale, bro. After all this time, I think he's got to join. Do it. Yes. <gasps> Yo. No way. She he actually hugged her. We got the Jerza and the Groovia in the same episode confirmed. She's letting him hug her. She hugged back. Let's go. What? He's doing a fairy tale for real. It's kind of crazy to think that they, you know, you just defeated the big boss of this arc in one episode. You know what I mean? Like all it took was Natsu just getting pissed to like go full all out, combine the flames of Igneal, Ignea, and the Atlas flame, the Atlas flame all at the same time to fucking burn this dragon. I mean, if you think about it, if he said, oh, a mere human can't burn me or can't hurt me. Okay, fine. Well, what if I use the combination flames of three mythical fucking dragons that are p powerful as ever and just combine them with Natsu's own magical energy? That's all it took. It really, really just took Natsu, like, not holding back. He was holding out just seeing if maybe Alderaan could be reasoned with if he was actually a good guy, you know? But it turns out, nope. He just was took pride in killing and eating all of the humans that he has over the last hundred plus years. And Natsu was like, "All right, that's enough for me. Let's. It's it's a wrap." I'm, that's just how strong Natsu is, if you think about it. All it took was him just being like, "Okay, I guess I can go all out." And then he fucking defeated a dragon god. Think about that. That's insane. That's crazy. That's that's really really that's really freaking strong. So Alderaan's defeated. We have a little bit of an in-between part at the at last part of the episode. The fucking gray Juvia hug. The Jalal Urza hug. Oh, we're winning fairy tale fans. We are so winning. Love that. All we're, we were just missing our Natsu Lucy moment. We just needed one of those. Give me more. More Nalu. No, Nalu, Nalu. I'm Team Nalu all the way, boys. Let's go. Um, but anyways, moving on to the next arc. So we're going to probably see Celine next because that's what it seems like the uh, other guild wants to do. And I'm, I'm forgetting their name. I'm sorry. I had a long day at work. So I forgot their name. But uh, the other guild wants to go after Celine now. So that means Celine's the next one, which is great for me because if we get more Celine on the screen in her human form, I'm going to be like, woo. <laughs> fucking enjoying myself let's go let's go anyways looking forward to that of course looking forward to some lean booba some more fairy tale and i loved this episode let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments below musically wise also i should say fantastic dragon force some of the other tracks they played that gave me some old school fairy tale vibes also of course with them getting drunk in the bar old school fairy tale vibes gotta love it let me know your thoughts in the comments below before we go though we got to check out the manga chapters and see if we missed anything Oh my god, what a fucking cover that is.
Hold on, I'm just gonna click that one over to the next tab and save that for research purposes. Oh, <laughs> this wonderful fish doing us all a favor with this cover. Thank you so much. And underrated Mira in a swimsuit. We barely get that anymore. Yeah, see, like, here's another, here's an example, though, of something where, like, Lucy gets slashed, but there's no, like, you see the blood here, but then in the mo in the anime version, there was no blood. It just kind of showed, like, a, a scratch. That's actually pretty cool. I like this cover of Natsu here with the coat, with the cape. That's nice. I don't know, this line, it kind of confuses me a little bit. I mean, he did, he did take, uh, take pride and enjoyment in killing the humans, though, so it's a little bit different. People do it in order to live. He doesn't need that to live. Alderaan doesn't need to eat the humans to live. He's just doing it for fun and to make himself grow powerful. Will you consume the whole world in flames? I do think that is kind of like looking forward to the future. Maybe Natsu gets under control, uh, out of control or something with all of this, this flame power he has. Burn the entire world down, just like Igneo has been saying. Oh, what? Look at this cover. Look at this cover with Lucy and like they find Natsu. Wow, they skipped this? I get that, like, it's technically not part on screen, but I wish we could have gotten even just, like, a still still frame of this. This is so cute. Now, it's, Lucy was so worried about Natsu, and she finds him and hugs him, and then you see Juvia going, ooh, everybody else smiling. Oh, this would have been so cool to have if they had had that in the anime. This, this I consider, like, canon. Like, this is not just a cover story art. This is, like, part of the, the actual arc. Come on. Huh. I think in the manga version, when Kiria says, I'm in love, all right, I'm going to eat him up, I swear. She looks like more girly and lovey-dovey, whereas in the anime, she looked like more kind of creepy, like she just wanted his power. This really seems like more girly. I like this version a little bit more. Also, Suzaku. Gotta say, Suzaku makes me think of Suzaku from Code Geass. I know he doesn't look like him at all, but just like that's whenever I hear that name. Suzaku. What store are you in? I'm at the soup store! Why are you buying clothes at the soup store? Fuck you! I kind of like the shot of Lucy writing in her diary. We didn't really get that. <laughs> I feel bad for the, uh, I feel bad for the, the, uh, the girls out there who, who missed this in the anime. You got a full gray butt shot in the manga. There you go. Muscular gray ass. And then Ju Juvia hugging him. <laughs> this one, okay, see, like, Lucy was actually drinking in 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 this one because this this line all i couldn't means that lucy's been getting drunk and in the anime version she wasn't they also like skipped this whole fight scene too they just had the stuff flying around lucy getting hammered with kana we missed that we missed natsu dancing with the boys come on damn we kind of skipped a little bit of this party didn't we just to make sure we got to urza and jalal which is I guess okay, but yeah, I think they kind of like sped along that chapter a little bit or that episode a little bit on um, certain things. I think the fight felt really good and well paced in the anime though. So I'm not like too upset about that. I just wish we had spent a little bit more time on the party because that's honestly my favorite thing in fairy tale. And also in One Piece for that matter is when we get the after arc parties. So fun just to see the characters just enjoying their time together. But other than that, I think it was pretty well done. Uh, the, the gray ass shot will be missed though for all the ladies out there. <laughs> all right guys thanks so much for watching before we go just a big shout out to our in the subscribers and above on patreon and youtube could not do it without your support you guys are the absolute best thank you grim scarecrow hunter to lupin one one alex de jesus Corey, eric barton fireheart 310 hapoko ice cat jose rafael castor joseph ariaga salty fries and teffler thank you all that's gonna do it for me for this one i've been zach you've been you and i'll see you guys all in the next video